What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually went through Route 4, the desert area, and we, you know, we battled quite a few trainers, discovered a few new things and all that stuff. And yeah, off screen, I decided to change the date to this game right here. Technically, it's not Monday. It is not Monday, but we kind of wanted to do that right here because, well... There's a little something interesting that goes on around here, and that is a certain Pokemon appears through this area. Now, let's see, I think it was around this area, like right around here that you can actually find that Pokemon. I could be wrong. Let's see, not right here. No, we've already defeated this guy. Whatever it is, like whatever the case is, guys, there is an interesting Pokemon that you can actually find around here. Now, in this episode two, it's going to be a little bit long, mainly because, well, we're going to be capturing quite a few Pokemon. Some of which, you know, will fit our team. Now, uh, I know that some of you guys were thinking that, well, Draven's going to be capturing a Sandal because he did it in Pokemon, um, uh, in that hack game version, uh... Yeah, I kind of did it in the hack game version and all that crud, but no, we're not going to be doing that, guys. I do have a, a, a team planned for this whole thing, and yeah, I'm going to be talking about the certain teams that I kind of I kind of had planned for, uh, I kind of had planned for this whole situation right here. Uh, so, you guys already know that before I started Pokemon White 2, or I already had a Pokemon White 2 walkthrough, uh, done... In fact, I've already, I've already, like, I've already established or published five episodes, four or five episodes of Pokemon Y2, and what stopped me was, I guess, I guess you could say what stopped me from uh, continuing on that episode was the fact that, um, what you would call it, it was a postcom game, and for me it was like, you know, I, I really, I really, like, I got, I gotten tired of doing postcom guys. Um, and the other reason for that too was because, you know, the computer that I was using did not record these episodes properly, especially the Dismume. And, you know, I'm going to keep on bragging about this, guys, but yes, I got myself a gaming computer and it worked, it worked like a charm. It really did because as of right now, I'm kind of recording this through Camtasia and all that stuff without a hitch. And, well, when the ruins were discovered, new construction was stopped. Guess you can't compete against the weight of history. Huh. True, true, true. Uh, let's see. Now, there is an area right here we can actually find the Pokemon. I just need to find it. Hold on. Uh, let's see. It's right there somewhere. Uh, so yeah, guys. And, you know, I, I remember taking my day off. One of my days off to actually record at least 20 episodes of a post-con po uh, post -con Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. And I don't know why I just crossed that. We have to battle this girl again. Um, yeah, like I I recorded like at least five, uh, 20 episodes and stuff just so I can, you know, at least have something. And all of that went to, you know what, because of... Uh, you know, because I, I just didn't want to do any more post comps anymore. I just wanted to record the real thing. In fact, I was actually just explaining the whole. Uh, I was explaining the whole. What you call it? The. I was explaining the whole poke the this mume altogether because it really just like you know, it it really just rubbed me the wrong way. Plus, like the 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 whole emulator just like you know, to me it just lagged. But yeah. I guess gaming computers have, I guess gaming computers have the capabilities for all this to actually make it work. And well, you know, we're probably gonna get to go right here. And yeah, we're going to the desert resort right here. Holy crud! Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna be battling some people right here. Okay. So, anywho, like I was saying, guys, there's gonna be some Pokemon right here. Uh, first. Before we do anything, I kind of want to check out some stuff right here because, uh, again, you can't find a, a Pokemon around here, and I do believe that, yeah, I do believe that you can actually, like, uh, hold on, I, I gotta find out what it is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're in Route 4. We were supposed to find the Pokemon right here, somewhere. Yes, let's use another one. That one actually goes to that resort, and, well, let's see. You know what? Um, let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Um, nope. Uh, let's see. 
terrible. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. I gotta check out something. <laughs> okay, so this is what happens when you don't play this game for quite some time, guys. You don't remember things, so let's go right here. It was so simple. So, every Monday, guys, you can find in Pokemon White 2 a Breviary right there waiting for, the, uh, waiting for you. Uh, in Pokemon Black 2, you will be finding a Mandibuzz, or I think that's what it is. Yeah, Mandibuzz. Probably. I don't even know, guys. But this Pokemon right here is fully evolved, and it is at a reasonable enough level right here, just so, just so you can take it to the adventure and all that stuff. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be capturing this uh, Pokemon right here. Rah, rah, rah! Okay, so look at that. Breviary. Now, Breviary, for me, I'll tell you this right now, was a very interesting Pokemon coming out into the fifth generation. It, I don't know if you guys were there when I was Draven XC711, but when I started playing Pokemon Black, I hacked both Ponyard and Breviary because these were two Pokemon I needed to have on my team. These were two Pokemon that were just like, you know, legit looking and all that crud. And yeah, my... My smart ass, you know, didn't even realize that these two Pokemon evolved way too late. So right here, this is actually this is actually very good because, you know, you get yourself a level 25 Breviary or Mandibuzz, and you actually get to, you know, get to actually use them in, in, in different situations. Now, the, the, the messed up part here is that, yeah, the Sandstorm is working against you, and it will try and mess you up right here. It will, try and, it will try and ruin your chances to try and capture one of these rare Pokemon. So what I'm going to try and do right now is I'm actually going to take those hits. And I'm actually going to send in a Pokeball. And I think, yeah, I do have an Ultra Ball right here. So this right here will actually help us out just a bit. So come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in there. And there we go, guys. We have caught ourselves... Breviary. Holy bejeebus. So look at this, guys. Breviary, the valiant Pokemon, both normal and flying, okay? For the sake of its friends, this brave warrior of a sky will not stop battling even if it's injured. This is one intense Pokemon you can actually have on your team. And yes, I'm going to nickname this Pokemon. Going to nickname this Pokemon after something pretty cool. Everybody, say hello to America because yes it's the most American thing ever America okay so that Pokemon has been captured let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right now so Breviary a hasty nature flying a normal type Pokemon and well let's see we got a wing attack hone claw scary face aerial ace and it, its ability is defiant when its stats are lowered, its attack increases. As you can see right here, its physical attack is through the roof. This is an interesting Pokemon to, to actually have on your team. It is. And would I suggest it, you guys having one on your team? Heck yes. Because look at its physical attack. It's one of the strongest in a, as, as, a, uh, as a flying type Pokemon. So for the time being right now, we're actually going to have this Pokemon on our team. Because, well, we're going to be going to the Desert Resort. And there's a lot of things that you can actually find there. And there are two Pokemon that I kind of want to get my grubby hands on. So let's go right ahead and take care of that right there. Uh, but first is first, we got to heal up our Pokemon. Or we already healed up our Pokemon. We just need to get the heck away from these guys. Like I was saying, we need to get the heck away from these guys. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are in the desert resort and the relic castle in the desert resort You can just tell by looking at it that it like that time has been cruel It is true because it's been there for quite some time I'm a school kid and I'll tell you this just like in the caves You can run into the Pokemon almost anywhere in the desert But they don't like hiding in the pale sand. So if you walk there, you won't have to worry about battling That right there is true. So Stay away from the dark sand right there. Now, we got some trainers to actually battle. Let's go right ahead and test out Breviary for just a little bit, okay? Like I said, we're not really going to have this Pokemon way too long on our team. So, might as well just showcase it for the time being. So, she's a trainer before a nurse. I'm itching for a Pokemon battle. Well, so am I. Let's go 
take it on Nurse Mariah. She does have one Pokemon, and yeah, she will heal your Pokemon after you defeat her. So here we go, Murica. That's right, the most American Pokemon out there. Holy crud! And let's go ahead and you start using its uh, its its power. Look at that. Oh my God! Yes, Murica. You know what? We 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 are probably gonna be using this Pokemon the whole episode episode. Just so it, get, it can get its limelight and all that crud. Because, yes, there are Pokemon here that we kind of want to use. Alright, let's talk to this guy. I came clear of the desert research to terrain. It would be easier if I proceed with water type Pokemon, which is true. So, let's see. We're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. And right here, we are going to see what kind of Pokemon we have. We've already got you, so let's go ahead and speed through this, okay? We already caught Hotshot. And, well, let's go right here. Looking at this Pokemon trainer. And I'll show you the harshness of the desert through a battle. Speed battle right here. And Pokemon Ranger Jaden. And, well, let's go ahead and use an Aerial Ace. This Pokemon right here, America. Kicking some butt, taking some names. In the name of America. And, yes, America kicking some butt. Alrighty. And... Well, just because we defeat this person, we get Rouseberries, which, you know, can actually heal up some, uh, some burns, and, well, we're gonna get attacked by some Pokemon right here, and would you look at that, it's a Sandile. Now, I was, as I was saying before, guys, um, I did record at least 20 episodes of Pokemon White 2 in a non, uh, non-narrated version, or, you know, post comp kind of stuff, right? And, well, look at that, <laughs> Defiant raises its attack, holy crud! Man, don't, yeah, don't ever change, America. And we, we, we use the same kind of Pokemon right here. And, you know, what changed my mind was the fact that, like, a lot of the Pokemon that I had wasn't really, like, they, they weren't really coinciding with each other. So that's the reason why I decided to, like, you know, change it up and pick most of the same Pokemon right here. Um, with the, the, there will be some changes in all that crud. And, let's see, grabbing this, green shard, yeah. So, again, I'm, I'm like really happy with that I'm doing this right now because, well, the Pokemon that I have right here, just it, it really just it really just does help. Um, maybe I will make two teams, maybe I won't, but there are Pokemon right here that I kind of wanted to use and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. Let's see if we can find some items. Actually, let's go ahead and use the dowsing machine because... Yeah, there are hidden items right here. And, yeah, that's probably not going to be a good idea. So, let's go right here. We're going to get attacked by a Pokemon trainer. And, you know, one of the things, too, about Pokemon White, Black and White 2 is it is this. That it's always eluded me, guys. Growing up, going, like, you know, growing up, guys, getting ahead in life and all that crud. Um, yeah, you're... <laughs> you're... Your, your life gets a little bit busier and all that crud. And as for me, you know, Pokemon Y2 as well as Ultra Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, those kinds of games has always eluded me because I never really had the time to actually play them. Believe it or not, guys, I still haven't played Pokemon Ultra Sun or Ultra, Ultra Moon. Yeah, still haven't played them. I don't know why. I heard lots of great things about the games. And, you know, it, it's just that, you know, like... Right here, as you can see, making Pokemon Y2 as my main series game can actually, like, it, it actually means that I am focused enough to actually finish this whole game in its entirety. Now, let's see, there is an item right here that we need to get. There we go, so I'm stepping on it. God dang it. There we go, we found ourselves a Firestone, and that will actually help us with Growlithe right here. Grabbing this, we found ourselves a Max uh, Ether, so. I don't, I don't necessarily remember. Okay, now, this is a question for you guys right here, okay? If you evolve your Pokemon through the stone, elemental stone, will they still learn, will they still learn moves going forward in Pokemon Black and White 2, or is it just, uh, Generation 1? Comment down below, guys, because if that's the case, then guess what? I might be evolving Buckus sooner than, uh, ra rather than later. And, well, here comes a Fury Swipes. Not cool. So let's go straight for a water pulse attack right here. And look at that. Drillbird defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go ahead. Get ourselves a red shard right here. 
That's always nice to actually get. And, well, let's see. I actually have a very good reason to why I don't have repel. I didn't put on a repel because there are Pokemon here that I do want to capture. Um, that I, I do want to include into the team. There might be a return of one or two and or just the inclusion of another Pokemon and crap baskets he just saw me so yeah we do have a lot of uh, Pokemon that we actually have to take on right here so let's go right ahead and take this guy on we got Walt coming at us and well he's coming to he's got a sand dial but look at this Defiant actually helps us right here and well you gotta love that intimidate so let's see right here okay so we're stepping on it and we found ourselves another red shard and well let's go I don't know why I did that so let's go right here and oh wow treasure hunting okay added it to the intro leg okay so spending each day living the dream that is that my treasure okay so I think it's right here let's talk to this individual it's a psychic and hmm you're strong aren't you yes we are okay so let's go ahead and battle this person and coming out with a Muna and yes we're continuing with Murka right here because well like I said we probably won't be having it on our team very long there's just other Pokemon that I love to use right here let's see uh, I'd like to play tag with my Pokemon if they use the teleport okay see so yeah, like I was saying guys uh, you know this game has always eluded me and I'm actually glad that you know we're continuing or we're doing this and especially, especially now with like you know a live com and all that stuff, I've, I'm pretty sure many of you guys, uh, well, I'm damn sure that many of you guys like you know appreciate that rather than the post comms and stuff. And I kind of there we go, step a step, step step, there we go. Found ourselves a blue shard, always nice. And we're getting attacked by a Pokemon. Holy crud! And this is a Sandile, so let's go ahead and uh, speed this up a little. And yes, the fight actually helps us out right here. So yeah, we're just gonna attack this Pokemon right here. Side growing levels and learning revenge. Let's go ahead and take away. Hold on, just a sec. Let's go. You know what? Let's go this. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see. We gotta we gotta find another item right here, guys. Let's see. And attack by another Pokemon. I am literally doing this on purpose to find the Pokemon, guys. So, again, getting attacked by these sand dials are always good. And we're going to have to get the heck away. And let's go ahead and find this item first. And there it is. We found ourselves a star piece. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. The, the Pokemon trainers that are moving are still the Pokemon trainers that I haven't taken on. And here comes another Pokemon that we're, we're going to be battling. And would you look at that? Well, I thought this was going to take longer, but yeah, <laughs> it really hasn't, guys. So, here it is, guys. The next Pokemon on our team, it's this guy right here. And I'm almost afraid of using uh, any of these moves right here. So, let's go right ahead and just straight up capture it with the Pokeball right here. So, I got a quick ball. Let's go right ahead and use a quick attack or quick ball right here. Come on. Okay, come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in there. And just like that, guys, we have caught ourselves trappage. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here it is, guys. Trappage, the ant pit Pokemon. It makes an inescapable canonical pit and lies in wait at the bottom for prey to come tumbling down. Now, we already know what name this Pokemon has. Let's go right ahead and give it a name. Everybody say hello again to good old Desert Storm right here. Now, I know that I've used Desert Storm in Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and all that crud. Never really had it on my team fully and all that stuff. This is the perfect walkthrough. Oh, crud. Oh, I can't even name it Desert, Desert Storm? Wow. Okay, so Desert Storm. You know what? I know how to do it. Here we go. Des desert. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, Desert Storm. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, guys, I've never really got to use it uh, fully in Pokemon uh, Alpha Zapphire or Omega Ruby, I should say. Because, well, there was a wide variety of Pokemon that I could have used and all that stuff. And I decided that in this walkthrough, this is the best place for it to actually, you know, kick some butt and take some names. So, let's see. Desert Storm. Look at that. Kind of a weird way to name it, but there it is. Desert Storm. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, guys. Desert Storm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Desert Storm. There you are. It is a ground-type Pokemon. It is, a, well, currently a ground-type Pokemon. And it does have the ability Arena Trap, which prevents Pokemon from fleeing. It really isn't the fastest Pokemon yet. But it does have some pretty good moves, such as Sand Tomb, Mud Slap, Bide, and Bulldoze. So while this is happening, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and move this item to Desert Storm so it can start gaining some levels. While that, while we're at it too, let's go ahead and start giving some uh, other items here too. Let's see, leftovers could be useful for. Let's see, for right now, let's let's give it to Sai because well, we are in the desert and it's yeah, not it's not help us, helping us out right now. So, let's see, what kind of items can we find right here? Found ourselves a super repel. Nice, and I wonder if this is the second Pokemon I want to capture. No, it's not. So let's beat through this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Murka, you are awesome right here. Now, my, my question was, what is that? Okay, that's always been my question. Like, where does this lead in the... I, you know, the whole lake thing right there, or, or body of water and all that crud. And, well, we still got other trainers to attack or to, to, to battle right here. So let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers. And second person to talk to me. Come to talk to me. Clear out of here to talk to me. I'm so moved. So I'll give you this. We get ourselves a Soft Sand, which will increase the, uh, the ground type moves right here, which is great. And, well, there's a trainer running right here. So obviously we haven't battled her. There we go. And, well, let's go ahead and battle her. With uh, Murka right here, and she does have a Magby. This Pokemon, very, very, very rare. And I probably should have captured a uh, Kit Thunder while I was at it. And yes, we are going to get ourselves a Rossberry. Completely forgot that you can actually capture uh, uh, Kit Thunder right here. And well, here we have a Yellow Shard. N that can never go wrong. And well, let's see. That trainer we have yet to battle. So let's go ahead and start battling right here. Look at this. Bam, Backpacker Clara wants to battle with uh, Sand Troop. And, well, there we go. Wing attack. And uh, Swift attack is really kicking our butts right here. But look at this. Wing attack for the win. And there goes another Pokemon trainer. Okay, so there is one more item right here. And that is another blue shard. So these shards right here can actually be useful when, when it, can, it comes time to teaching Pokemon new moves and whatnot. And, well... There is a mystical person right here, a uh, psychic. So let's go ahead and battle him. And Psychic Tommy would like to battle with a Woobat. And yes, we're gonna beat the brakes off this Pokemon with a good old uh <laughs> a good old whatchamacallit attack. And well it's coming out with a Yamask, so yeah, we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon. Yamask, I believe is a ghost type, yes it is, and it is confused. And there's that Nightshade, so let's go right ahead and use one more Water Pulse attack. And just like that, we defeated Psychic. Okay, so the last Pokemon I want to capture is located in this area. So give me just a minute, guys. I'm going to try and find this Pokemon. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so it took me quite a while, but here it is, guys. The next Pokemon on our team and it is Sigalift. Now, there is something about Sigalift that really impressed me in the last walkthrough, and that was that it has both flying and psychic capabilities. That is a, that is, that, 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 that's, that right there is a pretty dar darn good combination and typings. And yeah, I, I get it that, you know, I got Breviary right here, and it is a very, very physical attacker and all that crud, but the thing is, I need, I need something with a psychic capability as well as flying capability. Two and one, the best of both worlds right here. America does have its strength and all that crud, but it's both normal and flying type. So I think we already, I think we've already seen a lot of that right there. And well, 
Siglyph is not giving me anything right here. Here comes its Psybeam attack. And yes, Breviary is not looking pretty good. And this Sandstorm is about to take its toll on both Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and take this Timer Ball. Come on! Stay in the ball. Stay in the good god. Not in the ball. So here comes a Psybeam attack. This will take out Murica. That is not cool. Not cool at all. And there is a Sandstorm hitting Sigalift little by little. So let's go right ahead and hit Magneto right here since it is a uh, an electric type Pokemon or a, a steel type Pokemon. And let's give it a Thunder Wave. That way this Pokemon right here does not, you know, have any more of a, you know, the, or it doesn't have the capability to just run away or, you know, gives us a little bit more, more of an advantage to capture it or something like that. So there it is, Sandstorm really hitting this Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and go with a Timer Ball one more time right here. And there it is. Okay, come on. Stay in the ball. You know you want to be my Pokemon. And I am throwing out the peace sign. Yes, sir. Okay. So here it is, guys. Sigalith. The, uh, what was it called? Avianoid? Yes, the Avianoid Pokemon. Both psychic and flying type, the guardians of the ancient city, they always fly the same route while keeping watch for invaders. And yes, we're going to give this Pokemon a pretty cool nickname. The same nickname we had in Pokemon Black. Yes, everybody say hello again to Gigalith. I don't know why I nicknamed this Pokemon Gigalith. I don't know. I was probably... I don't know. I, was, I, I don't know what, what, what I was on. But I really like the nickname and it just it really stuck with me. So Gigalith, it is... My god. It has been a, quite a while since I've seen you. Bam. So, it's being sent to the PC right now, and, well, that's pretty much what it is gonna, that's pretty much what it's gonna be right now, right here, guys. The next episode is going to be very, very interesting, because <laughs> there, there's another Pokemon here that, it, you know, that we are allowed to capture. So, stay tuned, guys, in the next episode, we are gonna be going into the Relic Castle. We're gonna be doing a little bit of something right here. We're gonna get Gigalift into our team eventually once we get into the next town. But for right now, we got Breviary. We will include Sigalift uh, pretty soon right here, guys. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for having a small patience right here. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on people in the Relic Castle. See you guys.